The Sheriff's Department here in Pennsylvania County is clearly struggling to deal with this. This is a small community and this situation has rocked this community, spreading through the community like wildfire. Tonight we know that the husband in this situation shot his wife's mother and his wife's aunt before shooting his wife and then his own son as well. Tonight he is dead and police are still trying to figure out how all of this could have happened. A quiet Friday night turned upside down when two women show up at this hurt gas station in a car riddled with bullet holes and they themselves each shot begging for help. When police arrived, they told them the shooter was family and they had just fled from a house down the street. The Pennsylvania County Sheriff's Office says they found Twana Davis shot dead by her husband, Jason Davis, and their 12 year old son shot dead by his own dad in his bedroom. Police knew the shooter and say the incident is domestic, but can't understand how the child ended up involved. There, there are many, many questions that Hopefully we can get to some conclusion on in the next weeks or months. Uh, but to your point about why he, this person would shoot a child, um, I can't comprehend that. Um, I, I don't have the thought process for that. Police say there was a protective order involving the people inside the house, but would not go into any detail about it. Both victims that showed up at the gas station are in the hospital and expected to recover. The sheriff says despite the shooter being dead tonight that the investigation will continue into this situation to determine what led up to this and any sort of possible motive again saying that this was domestic in nature tonight. The sheriff's office not only asking for the community at large to think to keep the Pennsylvania County community in their thoughts, but also the Pennsylvania County Sheriff's Office in their thoughts. He says that it was very traumatic for many of these officers to have to deal with it, especially because many of them have kids their own age and they could not even imagine going into that kind of situation. Live in Chatham, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.